I came across, whether on a micro level or a macro level, and of course, as you know, um, all politics is local, and I felt that with the advent of technology, innovation, especially in the United States, which is the greatest, I'd say, one of the greatest hubs of innovation, um, technologically and in other ways in, in the world, um, the advent of blockchain and crypto and all these amazing technologies that will help elevate the human position, it was the right transition. And so I made the choice to enter the space and I think it has the potential to truly revolutionize and evol evolutionize, honestly, uh, things that we never thought were possible before and to actually put them into practical uh, application. And so that's, that's my story for now. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Dr. Ferris. Um, also, I'm Chief Medical Officer for Ever Medical Technologies. My background, I'm a physician by formal training. Uh, radiology is my subspecialty. After radiology, I studied artificial intelligence, um, and I started working with IBM Watson Health. So it's really my experience at IBM Watson Health as Associate Chief Health Officer that got me to transition really to blockchain and Web 3.0, particularly one of the things that we would do at IBM when we we're developing our AI applications is that we actually go around to the big hospitals, you know, the MD Anderson's, the Memorial Sloan Kettering's, the Cedar Simons, and we would buy information because currently your personal, your data, everything that you do within the healthcare space and obviously in so many other spaces actually truly doesn't belong to you. Uh, so everyone else, these large conglomerates, are making huge amounts of money from utilizing your information however they want, and there, there's no compensation for you. Uh, so that was one of the major components as to why I wanted to do it. The other aspects is really from the artificial intelligence perspective and from the racially biased perspective that data already has. Uh, medicine as a whole has taken advantage of underserved communities for so many years. And this is, consent is power. And when you actually control your data, and when you can actually choose to who you give it to, how you give it to, how you're compensated for that, that actually welcomes more people.